Team at BYU has just revolutionized the way the world de deals with Alzheimer's disease. They may not have cured it, but they discovered something so effective that one day humans may never suffer effects of the degenerative disease. So I went to BYU to ask how this is all possible. I don't know better words to say than just like, this could be like, change the world, so. Yeah. BYU PhD student Chad Pollard isn't using superlatives there. What he discovered earned him the Innovator of the Year award at the school. One, it's pretty faint, partially successful. He says they can detect Alzheimer's 10 to 15 years before current standard tests. As of right now, we're really confident we can at least identify it before any symptoms show up, which is pretty awesome. Dr. Tim Jenkins is Chad's <laughs> mentor at BYU <laughs> and cool. co-founder. Yeah, I do know the very first time that I like, I went to one of it was his PD Bio 120 class. I came in and I said, I would just gave an announcement. I'm like, hey, I'm a new faculty member. Please come. I need help. Yeah, so I was walking out of class. And I, I guarantee I didn't listen to a single word. <laughs> so good to know that. <laughs> yeah, the technology is uh, solid. Um, it's very, very sound. We're preparing the manuscript right now for publication. Once the first hint of Alzheimer's is detected, treatments now in the market can slow the disease progression to the point where a person could live symptomatic free for the rest of their life. The Alzheimer's might exist. You might have cell deterioration. But once that's identified, you could apply a therapeutic that would then decrease that to such a low level that it's never going to be impactful to the individual's lifestyle or to the individual themselves. And perhaps just as incredible as this new biotechnology is how Pollard came up with it. So I woke up at three in the morning, went out and wrote everything down from like three to five in the morning. My wife came out, she was like, what the heck are you doing? And I was like, this sounds weird, but I think we can diagnose Alzheimer's disease really early. She was like, okay, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Chad stayed up and wrote formulas as fast as his hand could write. It was already in his head. The aha moment kind of just happened in the middle of the night, spur of the moment, just woke up and knew what we were supposed to do. Dr. Jenkins feels they haven't come up with these ideas on their own as they blend science and faith at BYU. And to look at the way that kind of how, how all the cards have fallen with this, how we went from specific ideas that were only useful within one area one field of medicine and looked at how that's grown over time, just how things have come to place. There's no denying in my mind that this has been um, inspired work. After he and Chad uh, proved the formulas and patented the work, the business model to fund and get it into the world began in earnest. People who want to invest and get it going are calling. First, Chad had to convince his wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's kind of funny about that. Where yeah. She's just like, oh, maybe, maybe you're not crazy. Because when I first did it, she was like, She's as conservative as it comes. So when I came to her, I said, hey, I think we're going to start a business with this and someone's going to pay for it. She was just like, do you think we're getting scammed? <laughs> the business is lifting off the ground now and the work continues with the efforts of a larger team of cell biology and physiology class credit craving students at BYU. They just want the credit. You can try to offer them money and they'll say, no, please give me the credit. I want the credit. And so, yeah, we, we do take advantage of a lot of that, but it, yeah, it's, it's, gone, it's gone really well. Because we think it is going to be world changing. Um, the hope is that we get this to a point where it's part of a, of a, um, like a surveillance screen, a, a, an annual screening for people that are of the right age range, so that they can be just looking to see if the amount of DNA that's coming from dying brain cells is increasing. If it is, then we can take action. The pair is still pinching oh, themselves. I tell my wife all the time, like, I can't believe I ended up doing this stuff. But yeah, it, it's really exciting where it's headed. The tests Pollard and Jenkins developed have the potential to also target and diagnose other degenerative diseases like Parkinson's, ALS, MS, and Huntington's. If you want to be notified as soon as the tests are available to the public, go to wasuchbiolabs.com and sign up for that wait list should be sometime this summer.